Whoa, big news is buzzing across the drone community. An image of the DJI Mini 5 Pro retail box has just surfaced on social media and it's making waves. The packaging doesn't just look sleek, it confirms some of the hottest leaks we've been hearing about from Drone XL's DJI Rumors Hub and the always reliable Jasper Ellens. Front and center on the box art, we see the DJI Mini 5 Pro bundled with the powerful DJI RC2 controller, complete with its built-in display. <laughs> yes, that means no more juggling your smartphone, just pure flying focus with a pro-level controller straight out of the box. Even better, the label proudly says, Fly More Combo Plus DJI RC2. And that's not all. Get this, the front face shouts out, 52 minutes by three. Whoa, that strongly suggests three batteries, each promising up to 52 minutes of flight under ideal conditions. Do the math, that's more than two and a half hours of airtime in one kit. Absolutely awesome. This is a major endurance upgrade compared to previous mini series bundles, making the Mini 5 Pro a true game changer for travelers, content creators, and everyday pilots. If these leaks hold true, DJI is about to set the bar sky high. Retail box images usually appear late in the pre-launch cycle, often right before official spec sheets and pricing are revealed. If this box truly represents the final packaging, we can expect DJI to release full details soon. That would include confirmed camera specifications, transmission system info, obstacle avoidance features, and breakdowns of regional bundle variations. U.S. pricing should be listed in dollars, along with clear disclosures of flight times in minutes and performance figures like range and altitude expressed in miles or feet. Let's talk about price and other specs. The leaked price list is here and it's loaded with surprises. The DJI Mini 5 Pro Intelligent Flight Battery is set at just $69, while the brand new Battery Plus comes in at $99. Oh yeah! Finally, longer flights are within reach. The two-way charging hub lands at $49, which is awesome for anyone looking to keep multiple batteries juiced up. As for the propellers, they'll cost only $19, and if you want extra protection, the quick-release propeller guard with propellers included is priced at $69. For creators chasing that cinematic look, the ND filter set ND8 32nd 128th will be available for $55. Woohoo! Smooth shots incoming! And of course, DJI is backing it all up with Care Refresh plans, with the one-year option priced at $80 and the two-year plan at $129. This juicy leak suggests DJI is gearing up for a September launch. Yikes. Rumor has it, spotted on a YouTube story, that launch day could be Tuesday, September 16th, but nothing's confirmed yet. Seriously? We've got to wait a week or two for the real deal. Still, one thing's clear, yay. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is shaping up to be a beast of a drone, and the buzz is just getting started. Whoo! Can't wait. Let's talk about other specs and features. It's the first time we've seen the Mini 5 Pro in the wild, fully dressed and ready to fly. Sure, the earlier packaging leaks gave us some hints, but now we're looking at the real thing in all its palm-sized glory. And right there, proudly plastered on its tiny frame, the C0 sticker, confirming it's still under the magical 249 gram limit. Translation, in the US, you can fly without FAA registration. <sighs> For casual pilots, that's like getting a permanent skip the DMV line pass. This is where things start to get spicy. That front-mounted LiDAR sensor, it's not just a don't hit the tree babysitter. LiDAR works in low light, fog, or those heart-stopping moments when you're flying over a completely featureless landscape. And alongside it, DJI has thrown in LAR, likely LiDAR-assisted ranging, which means smarter navigation, sharper obstacle detection, and fewer oops, I clipped a branch confessions. In other words, the Mini 5 Pro just leveled up its survival instincts. Remember the one-time use propeller screws from the Mini 4 Pro? <sighs> yeah, they're gone. Instead, DJI has blessed us with a tap and twist propeller system. Changing props is now as easy as swapping batteries in your TV remote, minus the part where you're shaking it like a maraca trying to get it to work. And then there's the mysterious new button on top. The leading theory? It's a quick power on button that works without the controller connected. That means you can be airborne in seconds when you spot that fleeting perfect shot. Camera upgrades that'll make you drool. Let's talk about the real star. 
the one inch sensor. This thing is a low light beast and a detail capturing monster. We're talking 4K at 120 FPS for slow motion that looks like it belongs in a blockbuster. Night shots, crisp. City lights, gorgeous. True vertical shooting keeps your footage sharp for TikTok, Instagram reels, or YouTube shorts. No awkward cropping. And with a gimbal capable of rotating up to 225 degrees, you're suddenly pulling off angles you didn't think possible on a drone this size. And yes, the bigger camera housing isn't just for show. It's DJI's way of saying, Haha, oh, we dare you to take a bad shot with this. If these leaks are legit, the DJI Mini 5 Pro isn't just breaking the rules, it's rewriting them. Imagine cramming a sports car engine into a go-kart and still keeping it street legal. That's exactly what DJI has pulled off here. For pilots who crave top-tier performance without lugging around a flying brick, this could be the defining drone of 2025. The only real question left is, how fast can you clear a spot in your gear bag? Okay, so here's the deal. The DJI Neo 2 has officially been spotted in the FCC database, thanks to sharp-eyed leaker Mero Tandoy. That's a huge milestone, because FCC certification means the product is ready for sale in the US. And let me tell you, this might be DJI's most underrated release of the year. So whether you're a casual drone flyer or just someone who loves new tech, this update is definitely worth your attention. Let's break down what we know, what's confirmed, what's rumored, and why the Neo 2 could quietly become DJI's next sleeper hit. Now, before you get too excited, this doesn't mean it's launching tomorrow. DJI could pull the trigger next week or keep us all waiting for months. But judging from their past launch patterns, most FCC certified products go public within four to eight weeks. That means we could be looking at a late August to September 2025 release window. Fingers crossed. As for the price, nothing's official yet. But here's the good news. All signs point to the mid-range zone, right between the ultra-budget Tello and the higher-end Mini line. We're talking around $449 to $599, which makes the Neo 2 an attractive option for beginner pilots who want pro-level features without breaking the bank. Sounds tempting, right? Now let's talk about what makes this little drone actually exciting. First off, let's start with the design. Double-layered propeller guards. We saw it in a leak prototype, and it's clear. DJI is going for safer, more refined protection, which is perfect for indoor flying or first-timers. This thing looks like it could take a few hits and keep on flying. Redesigned lightweight body. It keeps the classic mini drone silhouette, but gets a sleek refresh. More aerodynamic, more portable, and probably under that magic number of 249 grams to avoid registration in many countries. That's a win. Section four, camera and tracking upgrades. Big changes coming. Here's where it gets really interesting. Bigger camera sensor, one out of 1.3 inch. Whoa, that's a massive leap from the original Neo. We're talking ballad or low light shots, sharple detail, possibly 4K at 60 frames per second, and even a D-Cine like color profile for some juicy color grading potential. Oh yeah, that's a mini beast in disguise. Active Track 6.0, Focus Tracks. DJI's tracking tech is no joke, and if this rumor is true, that means buttery smooth, subject tracking, smarter movement detection, and just cooler cinematic shots, all from a drone that fits in your pocket. Add in some HDR photo modes and improved dynamic range, and it's looking more and more like a tiny powerhouse.